Hey guys, I'm making a quick guide today about the best place to find player stats for Company of Heroes 2. Open up your browser of choice and go to coh2stats.com. This site has a ton of useful information that I might go over in another video, but today we're going to focus on the player stats exclusively. In the top right, there is a player name search. You can search the player's Steam name, for example, I'm going to search for myself here. If it's a pretty popular name like Gonk, uh, you'll have to know exactly what their avatar looks like or perhaps their region to help you find the exact player you're looking for. You'll now be able to see all of the different game modes that the player has played in, as well as their level and their rank. It'll also include all the teams that the player has played with before, and of course the level and the rank for those teams as well. There's also a recent matches tab here, which of course will show you the recent matches that the player has played in. And it will give you a lot of stats, um, some stats that the game itself does not give you in the in-game stats page, such as squad swiped, for example. Finding players like this is, of course, very informative. Maybe you want to know more about your own stats. Maybe you want to know about your, your teammates or, you know, some other high-ranking players, for example. But unfortunately, this method is not fast enough to search for players while the game is loading if you want intel about your opponents. Luckily, though, the guys at coh2stats.com have made a faster way for us to look up stats while the game is loading. First of all, go back to the coh2 stats main page and click on the desktop app icon. Once you're on this page, scroll down a little bit and click on the download button. It's a pretty big file, over 100 megabytes, so it might take a couple minutes to download. Once it is complete, go ahead and click it and run the .exe file. This will automatically install the coh2 stats desktop app for you. There's nothing else you need to do. The screen you're looking at should say waiting for game at the top and either be blank or show the stats of your last game that you played. So now I'm going to search for a game in Company Verse 2 and show you what this app actually does. 2,000 years later. So when a game is found, the waiting for game display will go away and you'll be able to see the stats of your opponents while the game is still loading in and giving you a little bit of time to get some intel about how tough or how easy the game might be. Also, all the player names are clickable, so if you click one of them, it'll bring you to the COH2 stats website and will give you more information about that player. At the bottom of the screen, we get a rough estimate of your victory chance based on your faction's win rates, uh, your team's win rate, and also your team's level. In this game that I'm loading into, unfortunately one of the players is unranked, he's still doing his placement matches, so it was unable to calculate a uh, victory chance percentage. So if you're an average Joe Schmo player here, you can stop watching this video now, but if you are a streamer, I'm going to show you how to display all the players' ranks during your streams. Right now I'm going to look at how to do this in OBS. Uh, you can also do this in Twitch, but I'll make another video about that later. Go to the app settings menu. And then click on the streamer mode drop down menu. And also, you want to click the little switch there so that streamer mode is turned on. You can change the streamer view layout, which is where the information, the stats, will be displayed either at the top of your screen or to the left of your screen. The game will give you a view server port. Um, you don't need to change this usually, just leave it as it is. And then you want to copy the URL. Now we can go ahead and open up OBS, find the scene you want to add the overlay to, and click Add Source. You then want to add the browser source. Go ahead and call it whatever you want. Press OK, then you get this window here. You need to paste the URL from earlier into the window for URL here. Then all we need to do is change the width and heights to match that of our Company of Heroes game. This should usually be 1920 by 1080 for most players, although it might be different depending on your monitor. Press OK, and we are good to go. Here's an example of what it will look like during your streams. I hope this video was useful for both players and for streamers to get intel about your opponents and also make your streams a little more informative.